Hi, in this video I am going to discuss about how to balance a TA account. It's very simple, it's not that difficult if you follow the following steps. There are certain steps that you need to follow. So if you follow those steps, it's very simple. So in this regard, I have taken an example. This is a T account of a cash account after recording all the transaction for a particular period. Now let's look at this particular account, the cash account, and we'll try to balance off this T account. In order to balance this cash account, what you should do is you should add up both sides, the total of both sides. So after taking the total, uh, don't write it down permanently in the account. So what you can do is you can either uh, write it in pencil or you can take a piece of paper and you can write it down the balance. So after taking the balance, what you should do is you should deduct the smaller total from the larger total to find out the balance. Now let's try to take the total on both sides. Now here you can say debit side, the total will be 950,000. On the credit side, when you take the total, the total will be 825,000. Now from the the largest amount you have to deduct the smallest amount. So how much is the balance? 950 minus 825 it will be 125,000. Now take this balance and write it down on the side of the smallest total. The smallest total is on the credit side which is 825 so therefore you need to write down the balance here 125,000 this is the balance so here you should write balance carried down so CD stands for carried down now take the totals on both sides this is 950 here again 950 so by that you can see the credit side the the transaction total is 825,000 and the balance is 125 so when you take the when you take both sides the total will be 950, 950. So after taking this, what you should do is you should take the balance to the next period, balance wrote down 125,000. So usually all these accounts will be balance at the end of the period at the end of the period means usually at the end of the month so at the end of the month when you balance off these accounts it will be transferred to the next financial period for the next particular month to carry out all the transactions thanks for watching my video i'll see you soon with another video